Hi there and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caroline Shenyan and I'm going to show you steps on how to overcome vulnerability in a relationship. But first of all, I'm just going to discuss with you what is the fear of vulnerability. Well, the fear of vulnerability is feeling of dread about being emotionally open with other people. People who fear vulnerability often strive for perfectionism. And they close themselves off to friends and keep loved ones at arm length. Um, emotional exposure can lead them to social anxiety for those who have trouble getting in touch with their feelings. So overcoming the fear of vulnerability can strengthen romantic relationships. Overcoming the fear of vulnerability can really strengthen romantic relationships and friendships, increasing self-awareness and improve confidence. Engaging in conversations with new people, trying new things out and keeping a journal are ways to overcome our fear of vulnerability and promote self-love and personal growth. So how does it develop? Well, a fear of vulnerability may develop in a few ways. If someone cons constantly experiences rejection from programs, jobs, intimate relationships, they may feel uneasy. So how does a fear of vulnerability develop? Well, a fear of vulnerability may develop in a few ways. If someone's constantly experiencing rejection from programs, jobs, intimate relationships, they may feel uneasy putting themselves out there again. Fear of vulnerability can also stem from abusive relationships or criticism from family members. Such hurt can really impact someone's mental health and it leads to low self-esteem. A positive circle of friends and family plus the desire to try new things and step out of your comfort zone will help boost you, boost. A positive circle of friends and family, plus the desire to try new things and step out of your comfort zone can help boost your self-worth. So why is this important in a relationship? Well, vulnerability is essential because it allows you to be open and share your authentic self and encourage those around you to do the same. Telling others you are willing to be emotionally available and inviting the same of them is an act of generosity. Inauthenticity and selfishness can be off-putting. Being honest and loving are ways to attract more friends and genuine romantic partners. So let's get into the steps. So becoming more vulnerable and increasing your self-esteem. No. So here are the steps to overcoming vulnerability. So by doing these steps, oh. so here are the steps to becoming, so here are your steps to, so here are your steps to overcoming vulnerability issues, right? So when you've done these steps, it can help create a more healthy relationship and increase your self esteem. So here are the steps to overcoming your vulnerability. So by doing these steps, it can help with a healthy relationship, increase your self-esteem. So here are the steps to becoming, so here are the step-by-step -step instructions. Here are some step-by-step -step guides to becoming here are your step-by-steps to overcoming vulnerability in a relationship and it will help you get a healthy relationship and increase your self-esteem. So first of all, number one, challenge yourself. Set goals to converse, to talk with a new person every day. Share part of yourself with a loved one or talk about your feelings more frequently. Challenge yourself to be more open and expressive in whatever way you see fit. Now, number two, chat with somebody like me, a coach. 
Coach can help you overcome worries related to vulnerability, be upfront with your coach and where your concerns lie. And like, for example, with me, we can have just conversations, right? You can just have conversations. It don't have to be taught anything, just conversations where you ask me questions and I help you with answers. Or maybe you just want to offload and talk to me instead, not everybody else. Or you can actually do a, an online course where you learn about what's going on up here to help your vulnerability and get over it. Right, so that's, that's the second thing. The third thing is to keep a journal. So record your emotions by logging times where you felt anxious or vulnerable throughout your day. Notice patterns and what made you feel vulnerable and how are you reacted to those situations. I have a sheet actually that I give to my clients that record those such situations for whatever the issues are they come to me with. So you can do the same, I can provide that for you. So writing down your feelings may help you better process them and confront such anxieties in the future. Number four, lead with love and generosity. Telling others how special they are and how much they mean to you can make others feel more open and likely to return a favour. Talking with love from the heart is the centre of all 